it's Aubrey. If you guys are new here, hi and welcome. Today we're going to be doing a front porch refresh. I've been dying to spruce up my front porch. I want to show you guys some of my ideas that I have for my front porch. Now, as usual, I'm going to keep it pretty simple, um, very easy to do. Anyone can do this. And yeah, we're going to decorate my front porch. So I want to show you guys how I put together my floral pots for my front porch. I have two pots here on hand. One is much larger than I'm going to start with and I have a smaller one as well. I picked up these green foam blocks from Hobby Lobby and my floral is also from Hobby Lobby. Now for my floral, I really wanted to go for a spring look and feel. So I have a succulent bush. I also have, this is called the new love bush. And then I also picked up some another greenery that I will show you, but I really love the contrast between this bush and my terracotta pot. So usually when you buy plants from Hobby Lobby, they're very stiff. I like to pull them apart and I like to also bend them at the root of the stem as well. It just helps kind of give them some new life and not look so stiff and fake so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pull each branch out I want this to look a little bit more on the wild side plants are not perfect and they're not meant to be perfect so for my pots they're going to look as real as I can make them so I'm gonna go ahead and stick another one of these bushes in the center of my pot and then I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna pull all the stems out kind of bend them up and down in different ways So this next bush I really loved from Hobby Lobby. This also helps to tie in my front door reef. So I have my wire cutters here. Um, it's very difficult to use scissors, so you definitely wanna use a good pair of wire cutters for this. And I'm gonna go ahead and just clip off the individual stems. Now, to make your pots look layered, you want to make sure that you have different levels of floral. So for this layer, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff these stems right underneath the white bush. And this is really gonna help add a lot of color to your pot it's also going to make it look realistic so i'm going to go ahead and just quickly snip all of these off of the stem and then i'm going to stuff my pot around the front some in the middle and in the sides as well So once I'm done stuffing the pot, you guys can already see how different the pot looks. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of this succulent garland. I really love this. It just adds a really cool texture to any pot and it also helps make it look that much more realistic when you have some greenery hanging out of the pot and hanging down. I really love the look of this. If you ever Pinterest faux pot of plants, you guys will see that um, having some hanging greenery just makes all the difference. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and just put the hanging succulent bush kind of just pouring out of the pot. I'm not gonna do this around all of the edges. I'm just gonna have it a little bit off-centered. So this is how the first pot looks. So now that our larger pot is done, I'm gonna go ahead and do our smaller pot. I'm just gonna break off a piece of this rectangular foam and just shove it down into my smaller pot. We're basically gonna do a miniature version of the one we just did. So instead of just sticking my bigger white bush stem into this one, I'm gonna individually clip the stems off of it because it would just be too tall. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place these along each edge of this foam. So a few in the front, a few in the back, and a handful in the middle. So once you're done adding your white stems, I'm gonna go ahead and add my greenery. I'm gonna do the same thing I did to my larger pot. I'm going to just tuck this around all of the edges. You wanna make sure that you're not gonna see that green foam because you want this to look as real as possible. So once I have all that done, I'm gonna go ahead and add my succulent bush. I also want this to have some greenery draping down as well. And a really good way you can also help your pots is you can also weave the faux stems in and out of each other. It just helps it look a little bit more realistic. Now these white stems are still just a titch too tall for this small little pot. So I went in and I just kind of clipped a handful of them.
Okay, so next to my front door, I wanted to obviously pair a really pretty reef. Target has a great selection of reefs. Now, my reef that I'm using on my front door is actually from Kohl's, and I bought it about... I think I bought it last spring. It was like on clearance and I thought it was a great price. I believe it was like $15 or something like that. But I'm gonna show you guys this reef. I love the colors of it. It has a little bit of eucalyptus. I love the white little touches of flowers. So it also has some like olive branches over here. So it has some eucalyptus. And it's just like pretty much all of my favorite florals in one. So this reef I really love. I'll see if I can still find it on Kohl's. But if not, I'll link some really great options down below. And then for the florals for my faux pas, pots I really wanted to tie them into my reef I wanted everything to be cohesive it doesn't have to match exactly but I do want everything in a similar color palette so I want to head outside and I want to show you guys how my front porch kind of comes together and I'm not fully done this isn't like my front porch reveal but I do want to share with you guys some of my decorating in the meantime I am waiting till it gets a little bit warmer to add to my black pots that you guys can probably see here sitting between my pillars but in the meantime i'm going to show you guys what i picked out so i found this amazing plaid rug from target this is a classic piece i am a sucker for plaid it's very classic and this is a wool blend i believe it was a 40 dollars for a three by five and it is a little bit more oversized and i want that look for my front porch so then i'm gonna go ahead and pair it up with a doormat this is from hearth and hand purchased it from target as well it was 12.99 and then I'm gonna add my reef. Now I just love the colors. It's full of texture. It's very seasonal for spring. And then I wanna show you guys how these pots look on the sides. Now I originally um, had my smaller pot on the ground, but it just seemed a little bit odd. So I ended up putting my small pot on top of my doorstep. And there's still plenty of room for guests to come through the door. So it definitely does not block the walkway, but I just love the colors by my front door. It's very festive for spring and it's just super pretty. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you guys love these types of videos, then you're definitely gonna like my entryway reveal. I share a lot of my own decorating tips and how I like to put this space together. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to check out that video down below.